the screenplay was uh, very powerful. It was a very inspiring, raw poem. Quite dark, quite very intense, and uh, had uh, a freshness about it because it, it, uh, Taylor Sheridan r really knew what he was talking about. I mean, uh, he, did, he, he did his research. And uh, so there was a description of that culture, of the CIA culture, of the Delta Forces that was quite uh, accurate, uh, beautifully and strong. And at and, uh, the same time, there was something, a freshness to it because the way he wrote the screenplay was not always following the rules. There's things that he was doing in the screenplay that was against convention, and that really ins inspired me and attracted me. The State Department is pulling an agent that specializes in responding to escalated cartel activity. This is not my department. We had local FBI, DEA, ex-SEALs, Delta Force guys who were on set who did the SWAT assault with me. And I think Daniel was the only actor who was in that scene with me. The rest of them were real guys. And so we had proper training for that, which I loved. I mean, I think that and it, I think the meticulous way the FBI work physically when they're doing one of those SWAT team uh, assaults is, I think, gave me more insight into that girl and what that job is and how everything is so by the book and they're, they, they're, they're held accountable for every bullet that they fire and she's in this world suddenly where they just spray bullets and so you know I think it, it I think physically it was very helpful to do those kind of things because you understood the lifestyle more you know you can you can talk to FBI agents which I did and you can read books but I think when you physically put yourself in their shoes it, it's quite transporting it's funny because when I read the script, it was it was the character was there and all that, but he was, you know, he's the head of this kind of FBI-ish service, and but he's hired really to just get whatever needs to get done done, and even though he's going under the legal auspices, uh, it's not really legal, you know. So it's nice to be able to have Benny's character, who's kind of on the fringe. He's using um, Emily's character in order to validate himself if, if he gets uh, caught doing anything, but really he's a, he's a free agent. Like the, you know, all of it develops when you're doing it. You, don't, you start to not remember what was originally there. I mean, Taylor wrote, I think, an amazing script, and Denis did something that was really, really surprising because when we finished the movie, I remember looking at Benny and I was like, is this, is this gonna be good? Like, you know, because you're improvising and you're putting this in there and it's kind of structurally all over the place. And it takes an amazing director like Denis, who I didn't know because I had heard from Jake that he was a great director and all this. You know, Emily's like, we got to trust this guy. He's incredible. But by the end, cynical me was like, I don't think this is going to be very good. <laughs> this is one that you just kind of throw away. And then I saw the movie and I go, wow. I was so wrong. I, not only was I so wrong, I was manipulated and duped by a really, really, really smart director who probably knew the whole time that he had what he needed in order to make a really good movie. He, he, he didn't see it. He didn't see... I think he was looking... I don't think he saw himself in that role. And... Um, and we basically just told him he was wrong. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> so me, when an actor say no, I always respect that. It's about inspiration. You cannot. But when he said, I, I woke up the next morning and said, No, I don't accept your no. <laughs> I just talked the phone and, Hey, you, you, you must be part of the film. And I think he just wanted to be desired. He I did. Think, yeah. Everyone wants to be desired. Do I think when I first started, I was more a little bit more like what they call method, which doesn't really have to anything to do with method. But I was a little bit more like, Oh yeah, you know, I'm the character. But as you grow older and evolve you know you're like you realize that there's a thing called acting and and you need uh, but you need to uh, I, I stay focused on the film until the day I rap really that's and then he goes crazy and then I go nuts <laughs> I start playing with ants <laughs> whatever that means whatever